Longer recap than what I usually make. Strap in. This is games 129 through 141. The Brewers will win 9-5 to against the A's in game two. Colin Ray with the win. Joe Boyle with the loss. J.J. Bolletti's 18th home run of the year. A solo home run. We make it 1-0 A's. An RBI ground up by Garrett Mitchell will tie up the game at 1. A Blake Perkins RBI single will make it 2-1. to one. A bases loaded walk for Jackson Cherry will make it 3-1. to one. Jake Bowers will hit a two-run home run, his 11th of the year, making it 5-1 Brewers. Brent Rooker's 30th home run of the year, a two-run home run, make it 5-3. A Daz Cameron RBI double will make it 5-4. Garrett Mitchell's 8th double of the year in RBI will make it 6-4. William Contreras will score on a fielder's choice, and then Shay Langliers on a pass ball would score Jackson Churio. An RBI single by Reese Hoskins will make it 9-4. Then an RBI single by Brent Rooker will make it 9-5. Game three against the A's, the A's will win 4-3. Joey Estes with the win, Frankie Montas with the loss, and Mason Miller with the save. Gary Sanchez will hit home run number nine, a two-run home run, making it 2 nothing. A bases loaded walk for Shea Langoliers will make it 2-1. An RBI single by Seth Brown will make it tied up at two. A sack fly by Daz Cameron will make it 3-2, taking the lead. Zach Geloff will hit an RBI sack fly, making it 4-2. Willie Adamas' 23rd home run of the year will make it 4-3. Game 1 versus the Giants. The Giants will win 5-4. Camilo Duvall with the win. Yoel Pimes with the loss. And Ryan Walker with the save. An RBI ground up by Lamont Wade Jr. will make it 1-0 Giants. Jackson Churio's 16th home run of the year. A two-run home run will make it 2-1. Matt Chapman will hit a solo home run. His 21st of the year, tying up the game at 2. Then Grant McCray will hit his third home run of the year, making it 3-2. Willie Adams' 24th home run of the year. A two-run home run will make it 4-3. Then lastly, Mike Yastrzemski will hit a two-run home run in his 11th of the year, making it 5-4. Game 2 versus the Giants, the Brewers will win 5-3. Freddie Peralta with the win, Kyle Harrison with the loss, Devin Williams with the save. Jackson Churio would start off the scoring on an RBI single, making it 1-0. A two-RBI double by Blake Perkins will make it 3-0 Brewers. William Contreras' 18th home run of the year will make it 5-0 Brewers. Tyro Estrada's RBI single will make it 5-1. An RBI double by Michael Conforto would make it 5-2, still Brewers. Finally, an RBI single by Helio Ramos would make it 5-3. Game 3 versus the Giants, the Brewers would win 6-0. Aaron Savale with the win, Hayden Birdsong with the loss. Garrett Mitchell's third home run of the year, a solo home run would make it 1-0 Brewers. A sack fly by Blake Perkins would make it 2-0. Brother, how did William Contreras steal home? It was just a whole bunch of throwing errors, making it 3-0. A 2-RBI double by Jackson Shurio will make it 5-0 Brewers. The final scoring for this game would be an RBI single by William Contreras. Game 1 of 2 in the doubleheader versus the Reds. The Brewers will win 5-4 in 10 innings. Trevor McGill with the win, Alexis Diaz with the loss, and Devin Williams with the save. An RBI 4 saw by TJ Friedel will make it 1-0 Reds. Willie Adams' 25th home run of the year, a solo home run will make it 1-1. Santiago Espinal's 9th home run of the year will make it 2-1. L.A. De La Fraud's RBI single will make it 3-1 Reds. William Contreras will hit home run number 19, a solo home run, making it 3-2 still Reds. An RBI single by Sal Freelick will make it 4-3. Jonathan India's 13th home run of the year, a solo home run, will tie up the game at 4. An RBI double play by Sal Freelick will make it 5-4. Game 2 of the doubleheader, this will be Rhett Lauder's MLB debut. D.L. Hall with the win, Rhett Lauder with the loss, and an absolute blowout. An RBI single by Sal Freelick will make it 1 0. Garrett Mitchell's fourth home run of the year, a solo home run, will make it 2 0. Reese Hoskins' 22nd home run of the year, a two run home run, will make it 4 0. A two RBI single by Reese Hoskins will make it 5 0. Brewers. Willie Adams' 26th home run of the year will make it 8 0. An RBI double by Andre Monasterio will make it 9 0. A RBI double by Sal Freelick will make it 10 0. Another RBI double this time by Bryce Terang will make it 11 0. A sack fly by Blake Perkins would make it 12 0. And lastly, William Contreras' 20th home run of the year, making it 14 0. Game 3 versus the Reds. The Brewers will win 5 4. Aaron Ashby with the win. Justin Wilson with the loss. And Devin Williams with the save. Willie Adams' 27th home run of the year, a three run home run, would make it 3 0. And a two RBI single by Spencer Steer would make it 3 2. And RBI ground up by Garrett Mitchell would make it 4 2. Ahmed Rosario's third home run of the year, a two-run home run, will make it tied up at four. Jackson Cherry will put the icing on the cake with his 17th home run of the year, a solo home run, making it five to four. Game four versus the Reds. The Reds will walk it off in 11 innings, four to three. Alexis Diaz with the win, Bryce Wilson with the loss. 
Jake Fraley's fourth home run of the year, a solo home run, would make it 1 nothing. Jonathan India's sack fly would make it 2 to nothing. A sack fly by Blake Perkins would make it 2 to 1. Willie Adams' 28th home run of the year would tie the game at 2, a solo home run. Bryce Ring would hit an RBI single, making it 3 to 2. A tied up RBI sack fly by TJ Fredo would make it 3 to 3. Santiago Espinal would walk off the game with an RBI single in the bottom of the 11th, re scoring that run. All right, now we move on to a different series. The Brewers win 93 in Game 1 versus the Cardinals. Freddie Peralta with the win. Andre Pallante with the loss. Willie Adams' 29th home run of the year, a three-run home run, make it 3-0. Pedro Pajas would hit one of two home runs, his fourth of the year, a solo home run, making it 3-1. Reese Hoskins' 23rd home run of the year, a two-run home run, make it 5-1. Pedro Pajas' is fifth home run of the year, a solo home run, would make it 5 2. Luke and Baker would hit a sack fly, making it 5 3. The final scoring for this game, a Jackson Churio Grand Slam, his 18th of the year, making it 9 3. Game 2 versus the Cardinals, the Cardinals win 7 4 in 12 innings. Ryan Helsley with the win, Elvis Piguero with the loss. Nolan Arenado would start it off with a sack fly, making it 1 0. An RBI double by Paul Goldschmidt would make it 2 0. Joey Ortiz's 10th home run of the year would make it 2 to 1. Jackson Churio's 19th home run of the year would tie it up at 2. Paul Goldschmidt's 21st home run of the year, a solo home run, would make it 3 to 2. Jackson Churio's RBI double would make it 3 to 3. Paul Goldschmidt would be pretty much carrying the Cardinals on an RBI single. An RBI double by Willie Adamas would tie it up at 4. Michael Ciani would hit a 2 RBI single, making it 6 to 4. And the final scoring for this game, an Alec Burleson sack fly, making it 7 to 4. Game 3 versus the Cardinals. The Cardinals will win 3-2 to two in extra innings. Andrew Kittredge with the win, Yoel Pimes with the loss, and Ryan Fernandez with the save. A bases loaded walk to Ivan Herrera would make it 1-0 Cardinals. Back-to-back -back bases loaded walks would score in Lars Newbar this time. An RBI ground up by Joey Ortiz would make it 2-1. Eric Costa's fourth home run of the year would tie it up at 2. An RBI single by Luke and Baker would make it 3-2. And the final game that I am recapping this video, Game 1 of the Rockies and the Brewers. The Rockies win somehow 3-2. Ryan Feltner with the win, his second win of the year. Frankie Montas with the loss, and Tyler Kinley with the save. Joey Ortiz would start off the scoring on an RBI single. Michael Tolia's 23rd home run of the year, a 3-run home run, make it 3-1. And lastly, Joey Ortiz's RBI single will make it 3-2. I'm not going to do any Brewers perspective of the week or two weeks. I'm just going to say the record. They are now 81-60. I'll see you next week.